Welcome, my name is Renee Serbon, Managing Director of Dermal Systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Observe Skin Diagnostic Device. When you receive the Observe, the Observe gets unpacked out of the box and you will find inside your box a bag. Inside the bag, you are going to find your Observe in little pieces that you have to assemble. So, it weighs a mere 6.5 kilograms, make it super easy to take to events from location to location so that you can have the wonderful ultimate interactive experience with your client to wow them. So let's unpack this and I'll show you how easy it is. Inside the big bag, you're going to find a smaller one. Walter Arkenstein, the engineer behind the Observe, put some great thought into how to assemble and disassemble the device. So as you unpack it, you're going to see that it actually unpacks in a very logical way to help you assemble your device and vice versa when you're disassembling your device. So I like to leave the bag inside the big bag. And on the inside, first you're going to find the base. Originally, everything comes in a plastic bag to protect it during transport. It's up to you whether you keep it or toss it. I let mine go. So you have a heavyweight base that is going to stop your observer from tipping over. Very smart. The next thing you have to find is this rod. When you find the rod, screw it into the base. Super easy. Next is to find the power to the device. Comes in this box here. Just in case you travel globally, you have power adapters for different countries. In North America, ours looks like this. Don't need that. I like to straighten it a little bit. And all you do is take the base, tip it around, and insert the power on the bottom. Can you see through the sponges at the bottom that protects your tables and surfaces from the metal base? There's a gap to feed the cable through that allows it to stand flush on the table. And you want enough cable to power up the device that you'll see in a minute. You want to remove the chin strap. Just put it down, you don't, you don't have anything to put it into yet. And I do like to remove my visors while I'm busy with this bag. You have one that looks like this, which is to put your cell phone device in. The next one looks like this. It has a rubber protection behind it. And that is for your traditional way of looking through the Observe. And of course, if you want to, you have your bag strap or your shoulder strap for the bag and tucked in here as well. The very last piece that you need is the polarized glasses for your clients to see themselves with. Now that we've unpacked the mini bag, we are going to unpack our device. comes wrapped in protection and this is what the Observe looks like. It's super light. I can hold it with one arm. On the front you have a guide for your cable, so position your cable correctly and sink it into the rod. Once inside the rod, the power has to go in here you'll see that there's a, um, a mini USB plug and also the round cable plug. So just put that in like that. Now it looks like this. Down on the bottom below the mirror, you'll see there is a little guide to put the chin strap onto. And you're 99% there because all that's left is to put the cover on. It's magnetic, 
So you just hold it up and you'll find that it attaches. I'll show you again. Okay, and you're gonna loosen this so that you can have your client on the inside. All that's left to do is to put the mini bag into the big bag. Put it underneath the table and you're ready to serve your clients. I'll plug it in and show you what it looks like once it's powered up. As you see, the light is on. Three more magic items that's inside your big bag before you put it away. If you bought the 520 unit, is the iPad visor. Of course, your user manual, most important. On the front, you'll have the invitation to download the iPad app to drive your Observe if you have the Observe 520. You will have a quick reference guide that helps you interpret what you see when you have your client in the Observe. And the one that everybody wants, this is called the Skin Diagnostic Guide that was co-written with Florence Barrett Hill to tell us all sorts of interesting information to help us analyze what it is that we're seeing in the journey underneath the skin. So you want to tag it, label it, do whatever you need to do. So with your user guides and your user manual and your reference guide, you're ready to go. When you have the Observe 300, you will have two light modes. If you turn it on, your light will go blue. You're going to have daylight mode, UV and woods. Don't forget that you have an intensity toggle here in which you can change the intensity of the UV and the woods light inside and that is gold for darker skin tones. Two more things in assembling that you have to understand is that you have this guy here with the rubber protection. This is allowing you to still engage in your, with your client in the old skin scanner traditional way. So your client will be on the inside and you're gonna be looking through here to see what you can see while your client is looking inside in the mirror seeing what you're seeing as well. You'll see this visor or this filter here, which is if you have the 500 model, you can also look at the skin polarized and cross polarized by using your daylight polarized and parallel polarized. Okay, and last but not least, all the models come with a cell phone adapter so that you can put your cell phone in here to take photos of your clients and we'll show you that in the instruction video. So your cell phone will go in here, your camera goes through the um, camera hole and you can capture the images with any smartphone. And if you have the 520 model, you can put an iPad in the iPad cradle and the observer is automatically going to connect and talk to your iPad. On the inside, your clients have these glasses, if you have the 500 or the 520 model, because remember that they will not be able to see polarized or parallel polarized if they don't have the polarized glasses. So that's important just to have out there if you're having that interaction with them while they're inside. So that is super easy and the disassembly is just as easy.